Hey, welcome, Azzy here. In this video, I'm talking about that, like how we can design this type of testimonial carousel in Framer. And as you can see, this design is I uh, already done in Figma and I already uploaded this design into Framer. So as you can see, here is the design. But one thing I already do, like I took all the parts, I mean, all the cars that you can see in Figma, all the cars, let me show you. Contina and here is the cart. So what I do, all the cards, I take one by one card and just like keep it onto here, as you can see on this, on this left side. This is the card, this is the card, and this is the card and this one. And to do the carousel, we just need to click on here, this insert button. And now you need to type here carousel or car, then you will get this, this widget. So now simply just drag and drop here this carousel in here. And as you can see now, we need to change here this size. Let's say I like to go with, let's say feed content and this one will be feed content, okay? So when you do this feed content, then what happened? They will automatically take this, right? Automatically take this width. But in my case, if you see carefully, this container width is like 1,140. One so what you can do, we can simply add it here. Let's say this width, this is the width. Let's say I'm just gonna fix. And let's say I'm typing here, let's say this one or 14 okay then you will get to see something like this and now we need to add here our elements right it's very simple now we just need to connect these cards items into our testimonial so it's very simple simply just just you can simply just connect it right but as you can see when i'm just going to connect it it's just co connecting with the frame so i don't want that i just going to keep it let's say i'm just going to keep it this one also also, I'm um, like to go with this one into here. Okay, so make sure that you are copying the same thing. As you can see, this is the testimonial, this is container. So as you can see, when I select it, as you can see, I select testimonial two. Also, I need to go with testimonial three. So I'm just clicking on here, drag and drop here, testimonial three, just simply drag and drop here. And as you can see, we get a four of them in here. Let's say this is four and this is three. Right, so, and now I need to connect all of them. So to do that, I'm just simply just drag and drop here this testimonial one, as you can see, we get exactly in here, and testimonial two, testimonial three, and testimonial four. All right, so now as you can see, we get three of them in here, and if I now, let's say, going to this preview, let me go to the preview of here, the like homepage, and let's say there. So as you can see, we get it down here, right? And now if I just click on here, this arrow, as you can see, we get to see the next and also here the next option that you can see. But if you see here this Figma design that this design, it's not look like same because it's have a like much space between one items to another item. But in our framer, it's not happening. So let me go back again here in framer. Let's go back. And now we just need to do a little bit setting in here. All right. So now let's say I'm just opening it and this carousel. And now in this carousel on this right side, you will get to see the option like a children. As you can see now, right now we have a four, but if you like to add a more, but you like to reuse this, reuse this thing, then you can simply just click on add button. Now we can select one of them that is linked. Let's say I'm typing here with a four, number four. That is, it's gonna be coming two times. So I'm just going to add number one. That is, it's gonna be at the five times right in there. Okay, and this is the direction that where will will be the direction on this. So right now, as you can see, this is this. I mean, this left to right. And if you like to make it top to bottom, you can also do it. And here is the alignment that how you want the alignment. And here is the most important thing is the gap. So before I talk about that, like the gap is not matching. It looks so close there. So to change the gap, we need to make it let's say thirty pixel because on the Figma design, I can remember I was put 30, 30 on there, right? And now on this padding, uh, if I like to add any kind of padding, so I don't want it, so I um, don't want it. So as you can see, when I remove the padding, it's automatically removed from everywhere. So I just remove it. And here are the sizing, like if you like to make them, you know, like say column two or on a make them only one, then you can do it from here. So I'm just going to keep it auto. Also here is the hide option, so you can do it. And also it's have an option called fitting. If you like to enable it, if you enable it, then what happened? Let me see here. I will re-enable it and let's go to preview. And now as you can see, it's looked like it's looked like it's a black, right? So if this is the fatting, you can change here this color. And also if you like to change anything else, then you can do it from here. So 
And if you just disable it, then it will be no, right? So you can just customize it from here. And here is the progress bar that if you like to enable the dots, as you can see now it's added the dots. And if you like to increase the size inside, I don't want inside. Here's the gap, here's the padding and all this desktop we can get to see in here. So this is the progress bar. And here is opacity and blurriness, all of these things there. And if you like to add a scroll bar, uh, let's say if someone just can be scroll it, then you can do it also. So, yep, I don't want it mainly, but I want a dot. And also, if you like to do the arrow, if you like to change the color, then you can do it. But as you can see, arrow means something like, as you can see, the next option when you click on this uh, left and right side. So I like it. So as you can see, when I enable it, I, it's enable. And if you like to increase the size, let's say 50, then these sizes increase. As you can see here, it's increase. All right. So now, yeah, that's it mainly. And when it's done, then simply click on here, this publish button, then this will be updated. And now if you see here this preview, then this is mainly the final thing that we have done in here, as you can see. This is mainly the carousel that we have designed. Okay, that's it for today. If you really like this video, then please click on this like button. And if you're new on my channel, so you can do subscribe because I try to upload videos about Framer, WordPress, web design, and Figma, like this video. So make sure that you, you do subscribe my channel. And if you have any projects, I like web design projects, I'm available for work. You can go to my website, like getwpxpy.com, and you can just like schedule in a meeting, then we'll talk in details, and then we'll start together. Thank you for watching.